This manga is so offensive that it could never get an official anime adaptation, so I just did it myself. This is actually traumatic. This is Dog Ningen, more famously known as Dog We follow the story of Rex, who is a half man, half dog, created when his father forced himself on a stray female dog. Because of that, he's a freak rejected by society. So one day he's gonna find that man and grape him. At first glance, this plot might appear as extremely shocking, but it's actually Actually peak fiction. The manga is hilarious and even tackles some real world issues in its own unique way. But since I have some undisclosed business I need to tend to, I only have 72 hours to animate the first chapter. And I knew very well this was not gonna be an easy task. And without any time to waste, the clock started ticking. The first step to every animation is storyboarding. And not even a minute in, my Wacom Cintiq tablet started acting up. It kept on connecting and then disconnecting. I could absolutely not afford breaking my head over this right now because, well, I had some work to do. So for this section, I switched to my iPad Pro that has been reliable to me for a whole six years. For context, I animated this chapter about a year ago, and every time I watch it back, I feel as if there's so many things I could have done better. So I'm going to be using that video as a reference as to what to do and what not to do. <laughs> that bitch is dead as fuck. Some time goes by, and after all the complications, I finished the storyboard. So the plan is as follows. Cut one is gonna be Rex walking on a sidewalk with a dialogue, my name is Rex, and I'm a... Cut two is gonna be a pan up, similar to my original animation. But instead of him just narrating Dog Gentleman, he's going to mouth it out, and the logo of the manga is gonna pop up right behind him. Shot three is a wide shot, and then Rex is gonna look up. Since Serbian Hero, the illustrator of the manga, had envisioned something similar for a teaser trailer that was made for a promotion of the manga. Fun fact, I actually actually worked on that. That's me. Cut four is going to be a still frame of Rex looking up for a second to give us some more drama. Cut five, six, and seven are pretty much going to be a one-to-one -to, -one to the manga. Cut eight is going to be a close shot of the dog's head with the blood slowly spreading out. For cut nine, I'm going to have these eyes open forcefully and then the camera is going to pan down onto Rex. And for the final shot, Rex is going to look menacingly at the camera and say that he's going to grape his father. Now let's move on to the animation. It's time to switch to my defective ass tablet and get right to work. The first cut features a walk cycle. I pretty much use this image as a reference for my animation since all walk cycles are pretty similar. As you can see, I was very much struggling to figure out the male anatomy and it looks pretty shit here if I'm being humble, but we got to keep on moving forward regardless. You know, it's not like I have my whole life to make this. Ultimately, the idea with this shot is that Rex is walking and then he stops and puts his hands in his hoodie pockets. As for the line art, I'm going to go for a rougher aesthetic. This manga gives me one punch man and mob cycle vibe, so I figured a more sketchy look would look cool and fit the vibe of the manga better. I'm also keeping the color coloring and shading relatively simple. Since cut two is a pan up, I made the canvas really tall so that I could easily get a nice pan effect once I put this cut in After Effects. I wanted to make Rex open his eye when the camera finishes panning up to his face. And to give it this nice sudden and impactful effect, I made his eye in the second frame bigger than it would normally be. I think that's pretty cool. You can't lie, that's pretty- I then animated his mouth moving when he says dog gentleman. What you're currently seeing is a lot more annoying than I thought it was gonna be as I'm not used to animating a dog speaking, but we got it done anyway. For cut three, I ran over to blender since this cut is very background heavy. I did this so that I could use it as a reference to help me with the perspective and overall idea of the background since I'm notoriously bad at drawing backgrounds. I sketched out the background, drew Rex's body, and animated his head looking up on a separate layer. And I definitely knew that coming back to the shot later was going to be a massive pain in the ass. For cut four, I completely went for a different direction than what I had in the storyboard, which I tend to do from time to time. I decided to do all of the animating in the line art part because I'm simply not going to waste my time sketching a simple blink. This this next shot has no animation at all. Most of the magic is going to come from the compositing. So usually when I don't do much movement or any movement, I make sure that these shots are more detailed than normal to keep them from looking dull. Drawing hands is a nightmare for every artist I've ever met, including myself. But I faced my fears and drew these hands to the best of my ability and they didn't come out half bad. As for cut six, the overall shot is more clear than the one on my previous animation. It's inspired by the manga's promotional video because I think it gets the job done better. Also there's scribbles on his face because Rex's dad's identity has not yet been revealed in Dog Ningen. This shot is relatively simple since all I had to do was make sure that I nailed the smears to make the tail's movement look as smooth as possible. Then in cut 8, I drew a close-up shot of the dog being dead and in a separate canvas, I drew a pool of blood that's going to be animated later on in the compositing section. As day 1 was coming to an end, even though I got a lot of work done, the feeling of not having enough time to finish the animation remained in my mind. But honestly, I was beyond crushed from all the work that I had done to keep on dwelling on that thought. So, I decided that it was Sleepy's time.
I had a very difficult time getting much sleep in, but something as minuscule as that was not gonna stop me from finishing this animation. However, I knew that my Cintiq tablet disconnecting every 30 minutes was eventually gonna make me want to do horrible things to myself, so I started to investigate the issue. Turns out that the cable that connects to the tablet is loose. I could theoretically fix it, but fuck that shit. I just whipped out another Wacom tablet that I had laying around. This one didn't have a screen, but it wasn't gonna be an issue, so I immediately got back to work. For Cut 9, I did a very rough sketch of Rex, again leaving the animation for when I do the line art to save time. I drew the parts that weren't going to be moving on a separate layer so that I didn't have to redraw everything over and over again and only draw the things that need movement. I put a lot of focus on the strings of the hoodie, making the movement very intense and it honestly gave this entire shot a lot of the weight that was missing from my original animation. I want to cut 10 to be as impactful as I can make it since after all he's saying some insane shit. So I went as off model as I felt like I made the movements as exaggerated as possible. Additionally, the line art didn't need to be super smooth for this cut. In fact, rougher lines look better. And also, I wanted to see how much distortion I was able to get away with without making it look f***ing stupid. Now, moving on to backgrounds. To be honest, I'm not the best at painting backgrounds, so I knew this part was going to be challenging and time consuming for me. But I truly had no idea how draining it was actually going to be. So I got to work. The style I had in mind is similar to Mob Cycle's backgrounds. So I firstly got started with a shot that had the most going on, because honestly, at this current moment, it was giving me nightmares. I legit had no idea what I was doing at first. I tried laying down the rough colors of the buildings, the road, and then I slowly started adding more and more details. I also wanted to leave the sketch layer on to give it a more rough looking and artistic effect. After a couple of hours, I started to feel as if I had spent way too much time on this particular background, so naturally I started to get bored. For now, I moved on to another one. For the background of cut one, I needed to make the canvas pretty long horizontally, so when I drop it on the composition, I'm going to be able to keyframe it to create the illusion that Rex is walking along the city. For this one, I animated the eyes with the background and only used the pencil brush so that I could have a cool rough and sketchy look to it. I then came back to the background for cut 3. As I was painting, I realized how much I underestimated just how much being sleep deprived was going to affect my work. I got extremely nauseous to the point where I felt as if I was going to collapse when I stood up. And the more nauseous I got, the more I developed a gigantic headache. The only solution to this problem was to take the rest of the day off and leaving a good chunk of this project to the very last day. I knew that I couldn't waste any time, so I got to work the moment I woke up. I finished up the backgrounds I was working on and then took everything I had made straight into After Effects for compositing. My original idea for cut one was looping the walking animation twice, but as you can see, I didn't finish the walk cycle, so it looks like absolute dog shit. But luckily for me, this is more than enough for what I needed, so it wasn't a big deal at all. I added a light source at the top left since that's where the sunlight is coming from and I then added the background, which I keyframed to pan as Rex is walking and stops right when he stops walking. For cut two, I firstly had to make sure that the eye open right after the pan was finished. So I made the first frame longer and panned that one up with some smooth ass keyframes. Then I added some image interpolation on Rex's mouth to make it look a bit smoother and save me a great chunk of time from making a bunch of in-betweens. Speaking of saving time, I gotta keep it a buck, I did not draw a background for this shot. I grabbed the portion of this big background and zoomed it in. But hey, you really can't blame me, it doesn't look half bad and it works. Then I faced a little problem. There is currently no PNG of the logo of the manga, so I had to grab the volume 1 cover, drop it on Photoshop, magic one the logo and fill it with some white, no ditty, and boom, now we have the logo. I then separated the two words and exported them individually. I then hopped back on After Effects and keyframed them popping in and added a bit of camera shake to make it more intense. I didn't really add much to cut 3 aside from some color correction and some diffusion. For cut 4, I'm simply adding the background and doing a slight zoom in to add some extra movement to the shot. He looks so cute. Oh my god, just look at him. I also added some red light from the barbershop cylinder thing and orange light from the sun. Now, for my first attempt to animate the blood on cut 7, I keyframed the position of the blood to add the illusion that it was spreading, but it looked pretty dog shit, so I then also used the puppet tool to make it look a bit more organic, and I also added some posturized time to make the blood's movement 12 frames per second instead of 24, giving it a more animated look. Cut 9 is probably the most complicated shot out of this entire project, as it had a bunch of layers and I kept getting a lot of different ideas as I kept working on it. At first, I was gonna do a pan down, but it wouldn't have looked that good, so I ended up going with more of a zoom out. I added some glow behind them because this shot felt like it was missing something. I then duplicated the dust I had in the foreground, moved it to the background, moved it a bit on the timeline so that the timing isn't parallel to the original and raised the exposure so that there could be some variety. I blurred out Rex so that the focus would be on the eyes opening and then unblurred him when they opened. The compositing of the other shots
shots featured more of the same stuff, so I won't bore you to death with the same shit. I got the rest of the compositing done, finishing the visuals of the animation. Then I moved everything over to Premiere Pro. Now that the animation is totally finished, I needed to find a voice actor that is qualified to voice Rex. And here is where my friend Deuce comes into play. The only problem is, well, he's not a voice actor. Because of my father, I've had to live my life as a freak reject. I've had to live my life as a freak rejected by society. Because of my father, I've had to live my life as a freak rejected by society. Sound angry. You're mad as fuck. You're a freak. Because of my father, I've had to live my life rejected. Mm -mm. What's up? I actually can't even fucking read. Because of my father, I've had to live my life as a freak rejected by society. No way. You just ruined that by fucking tapping on your desk. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Because of my father, I've had to live my life as a freak, rejected by society. Hell no. I know, I know, I know. You think, you think I don't know? <laughs> because of my father, I've had to live my life as a freak, rejected by society. Sound mad, but not yelling. Do you understand me? Because, because of my, my father, father, I had to live my life as a freak, rejected by society. Okay, let me hear that back. That's the closest one for sure. <laughs> Mind. <laughs> Uh, what is going on? What am I doing? What was that? My vocal cords. So one day, I'm gonna find that man and rip him. <laughs> That's the one. That's the one. And rip him. <laughs> rip him. <laughs> Again. And rip him. <laughs> because. <laughs> <laughs> After about two hours, we finished recording the voice lines for a 30 second animation. Thank you Deuce for your contribution and my apologies for your pain and suffering. I can subscribe for my pain and suffering. <laughs> Those lines are gonna haunt us for the rest of his life. The next thing I needed to get done is the soundtrack. My last animation got a fat copyright claim, so in order to completely avoid that, I am making my own soundtrack. I'm gonna try to stay true to the vision of the creators of the manga, DH Animations, and Serbian Hero. And since on their last two promotional videos they use piano themed soundtracks, that's gonna be the main instrument. My first attempt sounded um, very interesting to say the very least. The problem was that I was overcomplicating things and adding way too much stuff. So I went for a simpler approach the second time around and it sounded a lot better. Now that that was done, all that was left was adding some sound effects and some other miscellaneous stuff. For this shot, I wanted to have a crowd laughing at Rex, and since I basically have no friends, I just layered myself laughing in different ways to make it seem as if there's multiple people laughing at the same time. <laughs> okay, so that's the first one. Oh my god. This is my girlfriend, actually. I might have one friend. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo. I then had my friend Panthers yell out the word loser. Loser! And I also had my girlfriend do a dog bark to add more personality to the animation. And just like that, this project is done. Three whole days. I had never worked on such a tight deadline before, so this was definitely an eye-opening experience for me. And a message from God to never work for Studio Mappa. And this also thankfully means that I will be able to tend to my very important business. <laughs> Lord help me. Here's the final product. My name is Rex, and I'm a dog nigga. I never really fit in because of it. In fact, I've never even had any friends. Loser. I was created when a drunk old man forced himself on a stray female dog. Arf. Bitch died giving birth to me. Because of my father, I had to live my life as a freak, rejected by society. So one day I'm gonna find that man and rape him. <laughs> <laughs>